Kelly Shaw, Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. This following Bigfoot sighting report comes out of the Tushar Mountains in southwestern Utah. Um, after the witness had two uh, Bigfoot-like experiences um, two years in a row, he decided he needed to submit a report to a Bigfoot organization. Um, his two experiences were in 1999 and 2000. Here goes his reports. These encounters were reported to me by a witness who does not want to be identified but authorized me to post this report. April 1999, the witness and his family were gathered around a campfire at the, de at the edge of a dense forest near a stream on the east side of the Tushars, close to Maryville, Utah. As the evening got darker, they started to hear branches breaking as if a large animal walked through the woods on the other side of the stream. The water was high and making a lot of noise, so the breaking branches had to be thick ones to make enough sound to be heard over the stream and the family's conversation. The breaking sound continued every several seconds for a few minutes. Then suddenly, this stalker made a human-like screaming cry, causing several of the children to scurry for the nearby cabin. The witness thought it was possible, but not likely, that it may have been a human trying to frighten the family. The witness is an avid hunter and said the cry was unlike any of those of any wild animal in the area. And uh, after his uh, following experience in July of 2000, the witness decided to uh, submit a report. What happened in uh, 2000, the witness and several others were riding four-wheeler ATV vehicles about 10 miles south of Maryville, Utah. The group stopped in a remote meadow and several of the women went to admire some wild flowers. There they found a large imprint of a bare foot in sandy, soft soil. The hill part of the print was on grass, so the exact length couldn't be measured, but the witness estimated it was about 14 inches in length and uh, perhaps 5 inches or wider. No photo was taken. One of the women accidentally damaged the footprint in an attempt to protect it with a circle of sticks stuck in the ground. The group also found an old dugout type shelter nearby. It contained a battered bra uh, it contained a battered mattress, and the witness said he had the impression it was abandoned by a hunter's shelter. That doesn't preclude the possibility that it may might be used by a large animal now. The witness emphasized that the Tusar Mountains are much less visited and have far fewer human trails and intrusions than that of the Utah's Uinta Mountains to the north, which are noted for Bigfoot sightings. He told me in his many hunting expeditions that there have demonstrated to him that there is ample feed for a population of primates. The witness uh, started investigating the area more thoroughly, and uh, he found that uh, this area where he's had these two Bigfoot-like experiences is called Gorilla Gulch. I mean, not any longer, but on an old USGS map uh, where they found the footprint and had the experience around them. This place was called Gorilla Gulch. Um, he also found um, some uh, other legends about the area where people talked of a ghost of a huge hairy miner described as a gentle giant whose body was never found after a cave-in and uh, people talk of seeing him and uh, he also leaves gigantic bear footprints. I don't know about you but I've never heard of a ghost leaving footprints so this legend of the giant hairy ghost miner may very well be a Bigfoot and these sightings may have were very well got this place um, called Gorilla Gulch uh, back in ancient times. Um, great sighting report. There's a lot of Bigfoot sightings in uh, this area of southern Utah. Um, there's other Bigfoot sighting reports just across the border in Arizona. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on bringing you more Bigfoot sighting reports on location. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.